one more thing. So let's see if the Heritage fits in the carry-on. Okay, let me show you. Okay, easily fits. I mean, there's a little bit of room here. Well, there is a lot of parts like this and the metal parts. So it can fit. It has, you know, a decent amount of space there, a little bit here, tiny bit here and there. So it probably can fit. Ooh. It just makes it. So I don't really know. Because remember, if this is a six inch, that's at least seven. Uh, seven and a quarter or something like that. And then if, if I have to put at least one. Now, in this case, I can wrap it twice. In this case, I'm not even sure if I can wrap it once, but let's, let me take a look so you and me can find out. If I push this in, push this in, with the, the part with the focus, this is the hard part, because it jets out. So if I were to do that, which isn't a bad thing, because it's, I mean, I probably would put straps on it. No, it doesn't really close. So there you go. So even though the Heritage by itself fits just bare. Okay, let me put the focus downward or what would be, okay, towards the bottom. Okay. But it has this like lip here where you saw where the handle is. just just fits and just closes but I can feel it's just about touching so which means then with padding maybe if you used half an inch padding but I don't think I would trust it so even though technically it fits this is bare bones and I don't trust it with the metal parts uh, even though it's going to carry on I can hold it for all the bumps and turbulence so I would feel more comfortable, minimum one of that, and as you saw, it doesn't really close even with one. I guess if I were to make it, because I was crumpled it up, I guess if I were to do it exactly the same width and then put some over here, maybe that could fit a little bit better, but I don't think so. I think it's pretty much at the limit of the carry-on. So I think I would feel, I've already, it's already gone on four airplanes last year. The first time there and back, then, then the next time there and back. So if it went there and back four times, I would feel comfortable in adding two layers in the onboard luggage, then try to put half a layer. You know what? I did find another piece downstairs in a storage locker. As you can see, this is an older piece or Joey's been eating at it. Uh, so I just bought a roll. I don't know if that's like 27 inches by six feet long. It was like 63 bucks plus tax. And I didn't even know I had one in the underground. So you know what? I am gonna cut it exactly the size of the OTA. I'm gonna give it a try. So that way you guys know if it would work on a carry-on. Now remember, I assume every carry-on is roughly around the same size. I can't guarantee that, but generally speaking, they should be roughly. So I'm gonna assume this is a regular kind of carry-on and it's not gonna be much thicker or wider, but uh, let me check it out and see, because I wanna find out for me, 100%, do I leave it in the onboard luggage or do I try to put here and maybe some eye pieces? But I have to feel confident that it's not gonna be banging on the metals and the handles and all the um, stuff like that and the straps. So now it's exactly one layer. That's where the focuser is. That's why it's like that. 
and uh, the bar is over here. So if I angle it down, I mean, is that gonna be safe? I mean, I, can, I have these straps. I have these Velcro thick straps, which I can, okay, let me do that first. Two. Okay, now, there we go. If I put it like that, you know, can I put eyepieces or something there? See, it'll get towards the back. Gotta, I think I can just squeeze it in. So without squeezing, it's like this. If I squeeze it, I think I can just get it in. Maybe I could squeeze some socks or shirts in the side. Put, well, I need foam that's longer. So it does, I need this to be longer. So that way it, it protects it on the side. And maybe I can just fit a tiny bit over there. I just, I'm um, a little torn now. The reason why last year I didn't even consider this because I didn't have this red carry on last year or when I went on those trips, I did not have it. So that's why I never showed you guys that. I have at least one padding on the side, one around it and one on each end. I guess if I stuff this, it'll also prevent it from moving. Let me cut this. Okay, so now it's more rounded. Yeah, so I have still some clothes on the side. Maybe I'll take this one out too. Go inside. And where's this in? does fit and maybe I guess if I'm kit I'm rolling it I'm carrying it let's see how much it weighs 19 pounds so that's doable and I guess if it's gonna be on board on top maybe I can watch a better eye I don't think I can squeeze anything more in there, so it's practically 20 pounds then the big case, I guess I can fit more in there. I'm kind of leaning this way now. First, when I saw all the space in the carry-on, especially that I was thinking maybe I could put the accessories in there, but I don't think. Uh, with all the padding, uh, I feel more comfortable with the padding on there. So let me, I'll be back. Okay, this way, slightly worse. <clears throat> Because the way I had it before was this was, what was it, 38 pounds? And then this one was about 14. But this one just barely fits the telescope and a few clothes and a little padding. So which means I'm not fitting as much as like if the telescope went in there. So this one now is 41 pounds. That means I don't know if I can fit any more in here. But Angelus only has nine pounds now, so it was actually worse. Um, so yesterday I figured she has 12 pounds here and she could probably put 10 pounds there. But because it's so much thicker and wider, I really can't fit anymore. So she only has nine pounds here. You guys would say this is probably safer there, but I've already done it in here with two wraps. Okay, you know what guys, I just decided, I think I'm gonna switch it back to how I had it yesterday, which is, Put the telescope back in here, two layers, within almost all the clothes goes in there. So I had it at 38 and 14. That way she has 12 pounds or 13 there and about 10 pounds here. So I think that's the best because I think she's going to need more than nine pounds. So this way, even though, uh, you know, if, if I know for sure it's going to be safe in here with two wraps. This way I'm just wasting more volume, but since I know it's most likely 99% going to be safe, I'm going to bring it back. 